Hello everyone, welcome back to Flying Through the Helicopter Flying Handbook. This video is a continuation of chapter two. In particular, we're gonna talk a little bit about sideward flight and also about turning flight. Now, this is gonna be probably one of the shorter sections because what can we say about sideward flight? Well, first off, it's not a great idea. I mean, yes, you can taxi sideways, and it's something that we occasionally do. But if you're trying to fly through the air sideways, uh, it's not the best of ideas. Right? And why is that? Well, here, how do we move through the air sideways? We just tilt the disc, right? And that'll cause the helicopter to try to move, in this case, to the right. However, you're going to have a lot of drag. Right? You have the fuselage of the helicopter and you have other items. And it's going to say, I don't really like to do this. Right? You can do it a little bit, but it certainly is not very efficient or effective. Other weird things you can do with a helicopter. Yes, you can, in fact, try to fly backwards again in a hover you can do this and it depends somewhat on the helicopter i i like to have this little exercise i call the windsock of shame or sometimes the cone of shame if you don't have a nice windsock to operate around where i make people fly a circle around the windsock while you're always pointing at the windsock and it sounds easy but it's not and one of the issues you can run into on a very windy day when the wind is coming from behind you, you might not have enough ability in your particular helicopter to try to fly backwards, if you will, to keep standing still above the ground. So rearward flight is extra bad. You know, you have things like your stabilizers that are meant to operate in the forward direction and not the rearward direction you can't see behind you as well uh, so you know if you're trying to fly backwards generally not recommended you can hover taxi backwards uh, very carefully however and what about turning flight well we turn a helicopter just like we turn an airplane we tilt that lift to the side and if we're trying to make a turn we just tilt the lift now the helicopter aren't isn't necessarily going to turn very efficiently and in order to fix that we are going to use turn strings airplanes typically have a turn coordinator and there's a ball in it and the rule is you step on the ball with the rudder pedals in order to center the ball and in a helicopter we typically have a string on the windscreen and it's opposite to airplanes because of course it's opposite it's a helicopter so we drag the string so let's go ahead and do some quick flying and hopefully you'll see what we're talking about here okay so i'm already up in the air and let me go ahead and try to do something crazy, like flying sideways. And you see, it's like not really liking me so much. It says, what are you doing here? It's kind of doing it, but it's also kind of doing a little bit of a turn. Now, can I fly backwards? Uh, I'm guessing uh, probably not. Let's see what we can manage. Yeah, and I'm about ready to lose it here because this helicopter is like, I, I don't like to fly backwards so much. So let me go ahead and take off real quick here.
So I'm going to go ahead and start a turn to the right, and you'll notice that my trim strings are just barely visible to the right, to the left right now. Now if I turn, this is going to get worse. And how do I fix it? I push some right pedal until those strings come back and they're straight up and down. Same thing, I'll go ahead and make a turn to the left without pushing the pedals. And there's that string coming out into view. I just give it a little bit of left pedal and it goes away again. So that's sideways, rearward, and turning flight in a helicopter.